as we started teaching the start by using the high start to assemble the hard post, we're gonna work our way down to the blocks. It's always easier to give that full extension or triple extension from a standing start standpoint or position. And as the athlete gets better at it, we we'll start getting from a deeper angle. So a three point start will be a little bit deeper. Now we're asking the athlete to fully extend and assemble the hard post. Then as they get better at it, we're gonna work our way down to the blocks to be able to post up and get that triple extension and post up to assemble the hard post out of the blocks. We're introducing the concept of the block starts. The reason sprinters use block starts is to be able to produce force, use the block starts as a platform to produce force to overcome inertia. To help the athlete feel how to load the block starts, how to risk their body weight in the pedals and really push, uh, we're gonna use a half start drill. So Jeremy, if you wanna come in here, I'm gonna hold him from the shoulder. I'm gonna stick your butt back, rest your body weight on the pedals. Okay, I'm gonna let him go and push. Bam, 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 bam. Now we're gonna talk about block setup in a position that will allow us to produce force to overcome inertia and be able to explode out of the blocks. Um, a lot of coaches ask their athletes to stay low coming out of the blocks. They end up breaking at the waist, having too much forward rotation. They're not really pushing out of the blocks. They're falling down and catching, catching themselves. Um, so right now we're just gonna teach you the correct uh, block setups. So if you wanna walk down here, putting feet down on the blocks. One of the big things we look for, we want the arms to be perpendicular with the ground. I want him to relax his head down. His back is a little bit rounded. That causes a lot of stretch on the back muscles and the neck muscles. This way, when he pushes out of the blocks, he will get the stretch reflex and be able to truly post up and assemble the hard post. He's gonna come up, get his hips a little bit high and back, trying to get his hips right above the front toe. Set, push. We set the pedals down here at 45 degrees with the ground because I want the athlete, as they're coming into the set position, to be able to wrist their foot, rest their body weight on the pedals, using them as platform to be able to push and produce force. One big deal that as the athlete coming up in the set position, we want their hips to be directly over the front toe. If the hips is too far forward ahead of the front toe, they're gonna fall forward out of the blocks. They're not gonna be able to really push the blocks the correct way. So if you wanna come down, just get your hips forward first, then we'll adjust it just to make our point. Watch his hips in relation to the front toe. Watch his feet getting up and back and getting rested over the pedals to be able to push. So set, keep your hips a little bit forward. Now we see his hips a little bit in front of the foot. Now get your hips up and back, up a little bit higher. Rest, set, push. 